Good morning. It's Sunday. We're going to do some stump grinding. It might rain, a little on and off showers, hit or miss thunderstorms. It's western Pennsylvania. You never know what could happen. But you've cut the tree down, and now you're asking, that's probably the last time I'm going to see that client. Bat wrong. That's where you bring in a rental stump grinder. We picked this up at our local rental yard, Penn Hills Rental. And uh, we're going to see what kind of damage we can do with this thing and talk about numbers and see just how much money you can make after you've done the tree removal. Pretty easy operation here. Turn the key. It's already been warmed up. This is how you move it front, back, left, right. Throttle. And we're off. show you an example of a stump that maybe you don't want to tackle with a grinder this size. It's kind of hard to see, the light's not exactly great, but this stump is absolutely massive. I mean, we're probably going to be all the way to the end of the flare here. Let's just say, so we're at six feet. And that's probably not the total width and then probably closer to like, we're at seven feet, four inches. So the problem you'll run into is just time. Um, a, a grinder of this size with this much horsepower, you'd, you'd be here for legitimately, I would say close to four hours, three, four hours to do a really good job get down to an appropriate depth so they wouldn't see this again and they wouldn't like 
the frost wouldn't push the rest of that root ball up and they wouldn't hit it with the mower over time. So just uh, be smart when you're picking out stumps to grind with a rental grinder. And don't, try to, don't try to get in over your head and say, oh, I'm gonna price this job at $200 when really it might be a four or $500 stump for a grinder that size, you know, where if you, maybe you can find somebody who's got a bigger grinder, another tree service, and you sub them out and have them come in and blast us out with some larger, like, you know, 40, 50 horse uh, grinder, something with diesel power, preferably a turbo, that can really get in there and, and have a way at it. But yeah, just, just a little bit of information, just so you don't think like, oh, I can do anything, but little ones, 20, 30 inches, you're golden. Big ones, 60, 70, 80 inches, try to stay away from those. So this is a Toro STX. 26, it's powered by a Kawasaki FX series, same thing that's on a lot of uh, like commercial stand on zero turns or sit on zero turns. It's got tracks, which I love, and the, the head arm, um, it's got a great swing. It's a really good grinder for what, I, for what I do. I don't tackle giant trees. Uh, I just don't have the capacity and the manpower to do these big like 150, 130 footers that are gonna be like 60 inches at the base. I just, I just don't. Um, very rarely do I take on stuff like that. But when I do get an opportunity to get a client who's got a bunch of these stumps, you know, and this is kind of your, this is your bread and butter size right here. So at the longest, we're at 22, 23, and then like 19 and a half across. Probably the root flare in total is going to be somewhere around like. I don't know, maybe 30 at most way, way down there. And this is a perfect machine to do that with, you know? So I think it's important to pick the right grinder for the right job. And then it's important to do your prep. So what we've done is scrubbed, you know, about four or five inches around, try to get up all this little rock and we'll continue to take that away so that we can get the teeth to last as long as possible on this grinder. And it's, it's not rocket science, go slow. The machine will tell you when it's kind of binding up and you can make some serious side money. We've been here for not even two hours. We've done three stumps. Uh, we're charging $150 an hour and, and we're just blasting right through it. And we're gonna go for about six, seven hours today. Just like that, she's out of there. Well, I hope everybody's enjoyed the content. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you out there on the next job site.